We had at least one rig here all night long. Crews had to monitor the site of a fire for hours. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Megan Conway. Rod has the night off. The scene of a two alarm fire has been crowded with fire crews as hot spots continue to smolder, and investigators try to piece together what happened. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff has the very latest details in our top story tonight. Bailey? Megan, here's what we know. The fire at Paul Davis Restoration was started in a box truck that was parked inside the warehouse, and investigators say it was an accident. But the investigation and the fight to put the fire out took hours. More than 24 hours after a fire broke out at Paul Davis Restoration, firefighters were still on the scene, putting out hot spots that just wouldn't die down. After the fire yesterday, we had rigs uh, on location the entire day through this morning, uh, trying to hit hot spots. Uh, we left this morning probably around 6 a.m. Uh, by about 9 a.m., uh, there was a hot spot that kicked in again, meaning it was smoldering enough that people could see smoke in the street. But they can't get inside the building to stop the hot spots from starting up. It's safe to go inside the structure because of the fire damage. So what we've opted to do now is to go ahead and cut parts of the building open, parts of the roof, parts of the siding, in an effort to get water directly onto the hot spot. And even though the temperature has climbed out of the single digits, the frigid conditions are still proving to be a safety issue for firefighters. Get two or three in there, warm them up. It's still pretty cold. Um, it's pretty slick in here. It's icy, so they're all wearing ice cleats. And then we try to have them out of no more in a couple hours and get them back into warm weather. One firefighter did fall on the ice yesterday, suffering minor injuries. Battalion Chief Jim Bopp says they should have the flames completely out before the end of the day. But the investigation will still continue. As of now, investigators believe the fire was started in a box truck parked inside the warehouse. And investigators say it was an accident. The damage estimates are up to three and a half million dollars and some of that could be items other people sent to the company to be restored from their own fires. No word yet from Paul Davis on what's been lost or how it's going to be taken care of. Bailey Bischoff and our top story tonight. Thank you, Bailey.